Hey everyone, this is London Bridge Bricks. In my eighth in the series of popping body bags, I'll be taking a look at set number 30463, Hidden Size, Chef Enzo's Haunted Hot Dog Stand. Now this set came out earlier this year, has 42 pieces, one minifigure, and retails for roughly five pounds here in the UK. So that's the brief, let's go and take a closer look. So here it is then, our hidden side Halloween poly bag. And it's a set that I've been wanting to build for quite some time. It really is. I love the way they've got the, the hidden side logo here in the top left hand corner with those letter D's there made to look like spooky prying eyes. And then of course you've got the Lego logo there on the top right hand side and there's nothing spooky about that at all. But of course you do get the spooky artwork which is uh, kind of synonymous really uh, with the hidden side theme. You've got the uh, kind of real world there and then of course using the AR app you get to see the hidden side world itself. And this of course showing uh, Chef Onzo's haunted hot dogs and him looking rather possessed as well. Now this particular set is aimed at ages six and above. And then around the back here, well, there's nothing much going on there at all, but you've got this kind of clear area there that kind of teases you into seeing what's on the inside. And with that in mind, let's take a look and see what actually is hidden on the inside. So being a haunted hot dog stand, we actually get some pretty decent elements in this set. Uh, let's take a look. Well, first of all, of course, being a hot dog stand, go get these. We've got plenty of these as well. Hot dogs, or as we like to call them in the UK, bangers. <laughs> then of course, we've got these as well. We've got a few pizza slices there, but of course in this context, they're not pizzas at all, actually. They're just there for a little bit of decoration. Uh, we even got ourselves a tiny little print as well. Look at that, look. We've got ourselves a, a spooky, gloomy eyeball there. <laughs> it's pretty cool, isn't it? But of course, the most outstanding element for me out of all of this is this here. Look at that, a wonderfully colored umbrella top. How about that? That's brilliant, isn't it? How awesome is that? So let's, see, let's take a look at these instructions. Look at the tiny little things, aren't they? Even for the hidden side set. Look inside, let's have a look and see what we've got here. All right, we've got, we've got the, uh, the sets here that came out with probably the most recent wave uh, from Hidden Side as well. Uh, let me know down in the comments below uh, if you guys out there have actually built any of these one. I'm going to be building that particular set there on Halloween itself during our live stream. So I'm looking forward to doing that one. Anyway, looking at the uh, the build assembly itself. There we go. We've got the, the dual torso there of uh, Chef Onzo, which is going to be pretty cool. And uh, this is the rest of the hot dog stand here. Which looks like a pretty decent build, doesn't it? So anyway, that's where we want to get to straight after this brief speed build.
I enjoyed that little build, hope you did too. First of all, let's take a look at the minifigure. So here we have Hidden Side's answer to Garmagon. <laughs> it looks pretty cool, doesn't it? Now I'm gonna twirl him round actually, because there is a lot going on here. Not only have we got some fabulous looking prints, but we've also got some kind of nice texture uh, molding going on there as well, which I think looks brilliant. I really do. This is a figure I absolutely adore. Anyway, let's start at the top, shall we? So with this hat here, we've got this kind of skew whiffed fitted hat there. I think that looks pretty cool. And then going down onto his face, well, I mean, it's brilliant, isn't it? It's this kind of flaming green, gloomy look, kind of all printed onto this kind of trans limey green head. I think it's brilliant. I really do. I love it. And you've got the, uh, the, the, the flames going on there, continuing around the back for his hair as well. Again, really, really nice. Now around the front of this, I don't know, let's call it the, the upper torso, shall we? We've got these green flames going on there. And it's a kind of, I don't know, an almost paisley effect on the front there. I'm liking that. Then around the back, you've got this kind of nice molding as well, this kind of ridged effect. If I run my finger up here, like that, you'll hear it there. It's pretty cool, isn't it? I like that. It's a nice touch, it really is. But anyway, here's the thing I never thought I'd ever say. What a choice of weapons he's got. He's not only got this hidden side meat cleaver, which I completely understand and get that, but he's also got sausage as well. <laughs> Imagine getting clattered over the head with that. You know all about that, wouldn't you, eh? Size of it, blimey. But anyway, going down, and it kind of reveals this great looking print that we've got going on there. The upper torso, for example. I mean, it's brilliant, isn't it? You've got this lovely sandy green color, which is a color I absolutely adore. I really do. You've got this lovely kind of cute center pocket there with a, a pad in it. And you've got this pencil stuffed in there as well. And you've got this apron that he's wearing that's kind of peppered with all this green gloomy stuff. That's going around to the back. There's not too much going on there. We've got a couple of print creases in there, but of course you've got the continuation of the upper torso there as well, so there's never gonna to be too much going on. Around the hip area, we've got this uh, nice sandy green color going on there. We've got the, the, the plain trousers around the back, no side printing going on there, but you, you wouldn't necessarily expect that for a figure that comes with two torsos, would you? And then around the front, you've got the continuation of that really nice looking torso. So let's just pop him there, shall we? So, the hot dog stand, hey? So on the face of it, this just looks like any other ordinary hot dog stand. Yeah, it's got some cool elements about it. You've got the uh, the, the buns there with the uh, hot dogs actually in them as well. That looks kind of cool, doesn't it? I'm loving the, the sort of use of the jumpers there and you've got the, the grilled effects there. And of course, it's got this excellent looking umbrella piece as well. How cool is that? Then around the back here, you've got those cheese slopes I was talking about for decoration there. That was kind of cool, doesn't it? And got this, uh, I can't really think that's some sort of fire extinguisher. Now just around here, get a good use of these uh, trans amber studs as well to kind of make it look like flames going on underneath there. Well, I think that's a nice touch. But of course, this is no ordinary hot dog stand. This is a hidden side set after all. So let's bring out a little bit of hidden sideness about it, shall we? So just underneath here, if I turn that round just like that, there we go. There's that peering eye there. <laughs> it's almost like a, a hot dog monster stand. And then underneath it, of course, you've got those feet as well, the kind of clawed feet. I think that looks work. I think it works out really well. It looks really good. It was a nice little build to put together, actually. There's kind of quite a few little cool little elements in there as well. And you know what? There was a couple of one or two little techniques that I kind of take away from this, but I gotta be honest, for a hot dog stand, it's definitely one that I'll be keeping for my city. So overall then, what did I think of Chef Onzo's haunted hot dog stand then? Well, overall, I thought it was actually really good. I love the narrative of this particular set. I really do. So let's kick it off with him then. I mean, look, this is a really good high quality minifigure uh, to get with just a poly bag. I really do think it's good. It's kind of like good fun and it's a brilliant figure to have from this particular theme as well. I only tiny, tiny criticism I would say about this whole minifigure is that I would have liked to have seen him come with his human head. That way we can point back to his human form. It would look great, especially with these prints down here. So that means, of course, he's possessed 24-7, which isn't particularly good for Enzo. And of course, people that love a hot dog as well. But that said, this particular figure, he normally comes in a much more expensive set, the Shrimp Shack Attack. And that retails here in the UK for £45. So for this particular minifigure, this is a nice cheap way of getting him. Now, the hot dog stand itself. 
I absolutely love it, I really do. This is the first hot dog stand I've actually built for the channel and it's brilliant, it really is. And it comes with those great little elements that I spoke about before, the, the eerie eye, the clawed feet, the hot dogs of course, and you've got all these little pieces used around here to good effect. And of course, that most outstanding element, like I keep saying about this particular set, is this here, the flamboyant umbrella. I really, really like it. So all in, I'd say, if you'd like to get yourself some hidden side hot dog monster action, then this is definitely the poly bag for you. Thank you as always for tuning in. If you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see me pop open a particular poly bag in this series. Now, don't forget, you can follow the channel on Instagram and Twitter and if you're new around here, why not hop on and subscribe and become a big part of the LBB family. I'll leave you there with some videos that I think you might like. <laughs>